Hello, Robbie Wong here, gonna play some historic best of three on the ladder with some Rakdos Lurus. We're ready. Rob Zera. Okay, well, we can't play this on one, but we have it. No clues on the opponent's side as to what they're doing, so let's go ahead and keep it. I think I'm going to go Mountain first. I can Dragon Skull, then cast uh, these black spells here. Goblins. Okay. So I think that changes my plans now. Instead of thought seizing. Let's stitch your supplier. Oh wait. <laughs> Alright, so we let's do Dragon Skull Summit, Stitcher Supplier. Hopefully mill over a Croxa. And we'll save this Thought Seize for the turn before they can play Muxus. And hopefully rip the Muxus out of their hands. And somehow beat them at their aggro plan at the same time. For game two, we have a, a lot of Witches' Vengeances and Removal. So we need to figure out if they're doing a Splash Black for Thought Seize version. Uh, the Iron Crag version. Splash white for luminous brood bomb. Gonna attack in Pyromancer. I like that idea. So they could go one, two, three, four, five, play a land. So we'll go we'll go ahead and blood crypt thought seize. In case they have the nuts. And if not, then we're just top deck. Hello. Did you fall asleep over there? Thank you. Show me Muxus. Okay, so we'll take Matron. We can't stop them from getting Muxus, so. Can, yeah, and they can play Shatter Skull as a land. I wonder if opponent replaced their mountains with Spike Field Hazard and Shatter Skull or found room. Oh, brutal. Silver Lining, Graveyard Field for Croxa. Alright, who do we want back? Probably Priest, since they have Spike Field Hazard. Everything else just dies to that. Hmm. It doesn't really matter. Now we have double red for... Croxa, so that's all the, the all the mana requirement we need. Opponent, carefully considering every detail about the resolution of this fabled passage. Is it even a resolution? It's a land. Pondering every detail about whether to react to fabled passage or not. Do I sack this goblin? They're probably just getting coffee or something. All right, so we'll go Young Pyromancer. And then we'll get value, go claim. Uh, again, I really think the... Priest also helps us dig, conceivably could help us dig for more stuff as well. like for that my friend 
still get the token. Okay, opponent's going to beat us down with this Chain Whirler. They're going to get Muxus with their Matron. It's looking pretty grim, game one. <clears throat> looking pretty grim. That's a bird. I thought it was a horn. Yeah, so we don't have any Graph Diggers cages or Graveyard Hate of our own because we want to utilize the same zones. So it's more about killing everything so that there's there's little to do. Dreadhorde Arcanist. Four, five, six. Yeah, looking pretty bleak. We'll uh, thin the deck out. Killing me, Slims. <clears throat> I suppose we can fame Dreadhorde Arcanist flashback thought sees, pull the Muxus out, still have a game. Even hit for three. Alternatively, we could order a pizza. Oh my gosh. Maybe they'll just blow up. Ah. Pretty close. Uh they're not they're not blocking. Yes, please. <laughs> of course. Of course there's another one. I tried so hard, and in the end, it didn't even matter. Okay, so now the real question is, do I blow this up? I think not. I mean, we're we're gonna get beat down by this chain whirler, uh, but you know, this if this gets another Muxus, then we can we can run the same playback, maybe build up some chump blockers. I suppose with that mana, I could have brought this over, but then we don't have an answer to Muxus if they. Matron it into their hand. Uh, so there's a village rights, a thought sees. So we can draw two if we really want to. Do I want to activate priest and get their skirt prospector? I think so. They'll probably sack Skirt Prospector and then pivot into the aggressive plan. But this makes the Matron a little bit worse because they have to hit two more land drops. Oh, I can't use this. Boo! Alright, well, you know, we, we drew the removal. I would like to stop bleeding. Thanks. So, faming this is not really worth it. I think hitting them for one is, because even if they have a haste lord, I'm not going to block. And then Luris can come over and maybe drag us kicking and screaming over the finish line. Maybe opponent matrons for just... That might change it. Instead of matroning for Muxus, they could matron for the goblin that taps to make a bunch of goblins. Cranko. Good call on the haste lord. Bad call on the dying. 
so... If I leave... The I could... I could cast Luris, get back Stitcher Supplier, and then just be short on this. I was I was trying to think of a way to pair Croxa with something else. I think I need to throw Priest away to this Goblin War Chief attack, and then try and like knock this out of their hand, build up my own hand. I could see this being wrong. Oh, look at that. Oh, two or less. <laughs> so, I can't do that. I can do this and cast Luris. I don't think that's worth it. Let's just let's just let's just move along. Yeah, two or less. Well, now I'm the one taking forever. I guess I don't have to chump block. Never mind, I do. Oh, it has haste. Good game. We, silver lining, we didn't die to Muxes. All right, Witch's Vengeance is fantastic. Magma's Break can kill all of the lords before they get pumped. A braid, red cap, and Crest, just all of the murders. Let's go down. go down the thought seizes and one bedevil some claims just turn into this like black red mid-range thing let's try it looking for a hand with a lot of removal and a clock Bonus points for Dreadhorde Arcanist. Well, you know. Can't cast any of these on one, but... Maybe we go Swamp. That way we can go double Stitcher Supplier, and then guarantee we have Witch's Vengeance on three, if we really want a Witch's Vengeance on three. No pathway, Black Red. No plays. Sounds exciting. So we'll go Stitcher. <laughs> Stitcher. Croxa. No Croxa. Not exactly the critical mass of, zomb of goblins I was imagining. So what if we go to combat? No block one. <laughs> oh, the fear, the fear. I was going to sack whichever one they, they block. All right, there we go. So, Croxa or Stitcher Supplier? Croxa, because then I can sti I can escape Croxa next turn, really put the heat on. Maybe even knock a couple of key cards out. Good thing they didn't have open mana when, when this happened. Goblin War Chief. Okay. So, I think I want a Croxa. This will put a big fat body on the board. One, two, three, four. No young Pyromancer. Multiple Stitcher Suppliers. Let's get some Stitcher Supplier, since we have so many. What do we get? What do we get? <laughs> Thinking's bad. It means there's a lot of good spells for them to choose from. Uh, hopefully they commit more to the board, and then this just is backbreaking. Are they just going to Magma Spray this and attack? 
we'll run the risk. No value for Snoop. Percentage points slip away. Wow, that's a pretty impressive board. Be a shame if they all came down with the plague, which is kind of what I imagine Witch's Vengeance is doing. Oh, they didn't, uh, they didn't, uh, Magma Spray me. Well, I feel a Witch's Vengeance is in order. That's great. Uh, do I like the way I board? I'm boarded. I think so. Not having thought seized to pull Muxus out of the hand is maybe a liability, but I think I'd rather have all of these kill spells. Burr. This is making me want to play goblins, though. Who did I see? Yeah, which is vengeance? No red mana is kind of a, a bummer. Village rights claim the fame is good, though. Well, and if we don't hit it naturally, we can just village rights the Stitcher Supplier. Which is vengeance is just so hard to pass up. The one one-sided sweeper is a. Uh, Pretty good in these creature mirrors, I hear. Double witch's vengeance. If I pair them together, we can we can kill a Muxus. Red land in the bin. Best possible draw. Black red untap land. No, another village rights isn't bad though. I suppose it's free to attack. <laughs> okay. If we win by one, I claim that one. Okay, go fish. We get blood creek. Should hit our red land here. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Oh, well, yeah, you know, this is a, a red source. So let's do this and avoid the damage. We'll put it in tapped. Because I want to pair the claim with uh, another critter. We could die next turn, honestly. Land, sack, sack, sack. <laughs> Alright, low roll, low roll, low roll. Or no haste lord. Rex. Oh, and there's a. Shh, don't tell him. Oh, he missed it. Or opponent missed it. Ooh, I get excited about that. He should have, he should have, he should have hit that. Alright. We need to. Simul. <laughs> I don't think we can win. Because if we, if we Witch's Vengeance, this just kills us. Yeah. Maybe there's no other goblins. Oh, wait, we know that. There's a matron there. Maybe they forget to play it pre-combat. I couldn't have killed that. Yeah, because I was just on two lands. Oh, <laughs> the uber deads. All right, I'm Robbie Wong. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.